Guess what? Oh, another different job, one I haven't done before. And uh, so a job that a lot of people don't want to do. This pump goes in the septic tank, so it'll pump up to the city sewer for pan around these apartments. And this pump is not working. We uh, had a hard time sliding it up uh, because the pipes that were here were locked up with rust. Um, but this pump is not working, so we're gonna lay it on the side and see what we can see inside the pump. This is a grinder pump, so it doesn't just pump the sewage. It grinds it up. And right here, these are the disposable wipes. And that looks like we're hung up, and I don't know that this thing will work when we get through, but it's definitely hung up in there. So I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and mess around with it. And this is something I've not done before, didn't watch the video on, and because uh, I've been busy till nine o'clock at night. Uh, but we're gonna look at this and see if we can see, and we're gonna pry it loose. I don't really want to stick my finger in there and grind my finger up. So uh, give us a minute, we'll be back with you with a screwdriver and see if we can screw things up. So this thing is uh, stuck pretty good. So there's an Allen wrench right here on the bottom to take the blade off, I believe. We're gonna find out and see if we can. And then we're also gonna take this apart and take a look and see if there's more stuff inside there. But this thing's gotten hot you look at how black it is all the way around, even though the paint here is green. So may have uh, a burned up motor. May have a burned up motor for sure. But there's a, a stainless steel emblem right here that's wore all the shininess off of it. Only thing I can see is warning. If you notice, I changed my gloves so I don't get so uh, messed up. Anyway. He's going to go get the bolts, and I'm going to keep on doing this, and we'll take it apart. So, we found this blockage. Imagine that, people getting blocked up. Um, if machines can, you can. Yeah, this, there's no x lax for this. Um, but there's... Washable wipes. There's wipes here wrapped around. And I'm trying to get the stuff that's in there off of it gotten quite a bit there's still a little bit more may have to make something to hook in there and, and get all that out or got to go get a five gallon bucket put this thing back together but this piece right here goes real tightly right there so this grinds it up to this fine fine areas to make it a soup I guess not that you would want to drink it and uh, that wipe hung it up I don't know if it burned the motor up yet or not but I'm gonna put it back together put it in a five gallon bucket as was recommended by one of Clay's friends that works on these things all the time it was nice of him to call his friend up and we'll put it back together stick it in a Five gallon bucket. This one's bigger than a five gallon bucket, I would say. It'll probably just suck the water really fast. Um, but maybe get a tub of water and then go whoo and throw it out. But I'm going to put it back together and uh, I might just make myself a special tool. Somebody's using the bathroom. Um, and take this back off and, and get all that stuff out of there. All right. Here's what we're doing. A little trick that we learned here is uh, there's a slot right there that you put a screwdriver in just to hold that still. And then you take a hammer and tap counterclockwise. And then this comes off. 
sure don't want to drop it in there. I don't want to go for diving. Like Scuba Steve, as uh, there's a the guy know. around here that does that. What we found out is that there's a blade screwdriver. We're using a chisel just temporarily. Thing that holds it in the center, you want to keep that from spinning the motor. And then take a another screwdriver in and tap this way counterclockwise. Kind of a two-person job. Yeah, you can do it with one, but it'd be hard. And I don't want to drop this into the septic tank and become scuba sieve as there are people that do that kind of job, I guess. Look at that, man. All right, so it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to pull out a little bit of picture of this. For them. It's all hung up in there. All right, I don't know. It burned everything up, but we know now what you got to do to get it unhung up. Uh, so now we put it back together. Reverse engineering. We've got background effects. I hope you guys understand what that is. No, don't cross it. Certainly don't want to cross it. Yeah, you did a good job. You did it. You would yeah. know right away. Opposite of NASCAR, going right. clockwise, right hand turns. Okay. Should have something better than this. But I can hold that. I can hold that and film. Yeah. Wow! You can do two things at once. That's it. Okay. Then we put the this, bolt. This is a. Uh, oh, what, and what size? Port screw. The Allen. What was it? Uh, CR four. This one. I don't know. CRV4, whatever that means. This four millimeter? Little tiny thing. Well, that's hard for me to do anything with rubber gloves on. How does a doctor do things? But they don't use gloves like this. Maybe that's why they have so many malpractice suits. <laughs> well, I would too if I had to mess with this kind of stuff. They don't like their gloves on, so they leave it in, in you. Yeah, I don't feel good. It feels like somebody's grabbing my stomach. <laughs> The only people that can do things wrong and still get paid is doctors and lawyers. And the president. I guess the president. No, he, no, he, but their version of wrong might be right to someone else. Yeah. We're a hero. Anyway, uh, that is in. I'm going to try to figure out a way to tighten that up a little bit. But I'm going to put this back very tight fitting piece in really unique at least compared to cars it's almost perfect I guess I know a little bit more than a plumber because I do more things than plumbing I know that when you do plumbing all your work goes down the drain and payday is on Friday payday is on Friday I don't have to fight the urge to help you, but I don't want yeah, to go barehanded. Uh, scratching your nose right now. Isn't that funny how you get your hands dirty yeah. and your nose itches? <laughs> Might get that fungus like that show. Oh, yeah. Like the Last of Us. The Last of Us. I end up looking like some, some kind of sewer creature instead of a zombie. Whatever a sewer creature looks like. <laughs> Oh, we're entertaining these people. Okay. That is on. No, try. I gotta get your five gallon bucket. I don't think it'll fit in a five gallon bucket, but we can try. You'll get close. All right, we'll be back. Why? Now, we put it inside a five gallon bucket, put water in that five gallon bucket, and we're gonna turn it on and see if it works. 
And I'm trying to hold it in case it tries to jump out of the bucket. Make splash water all over me. You ready? Yeah. That's good. Let me just show them real fast. Yeah, so it pulls up from the bottom. Like that. And goes down. Can we move this out of the way? Pour yeah. more water in there? Yeah, you can probably pour a little, little bit more. all in on camera. Keep it in. <laughs> I ain't going after it. <laughs> you sure? Pretty sure. <laughs> That's forty dollars. I know. Gonna have to add that to the material to the. All right, turn it on. All right. Man, how am I gonna get my forty dollars? That monthly is a joke of the two cowboys that came in off the range to a two-hole toilet. Both of them went and sat down. One stood up and pulled his pants up, and a five-dollar bill fell in there. And they both looked at each other. The guy took out his wallet, dropped another five dollars in there. <laughs> and the guy said, What'd you do that for? You already dropped one five. He says, Well, I ain't going in there for five bucks. I'm going for ten. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we got this working. Uh I want to get a chain so that we can uh we're supposed to have a chain right here. Oh, so that you can pull it. Yeah, you can show them the other side. But in, in reality, this place, this thing is in bad shape. Um, over here, if you see, there's a chain. I'm gonna drop my phone in there, that's for sure. Right there. And these pipes are supposed to come all the way up and around this, you're supposed to take this loose, but they have rusted off. But the motor, show them over here, sits on these slots right here. So uh, it probably weighs 100 pounds, 100 and something. It's heavy. It's like a fire hydrant. <laughs> and uh, so we need to, and I hooked it. What I did was I hooked the, the strap on there and then pulled it up. And that gave me a lot of comfort putting that on my shoulder and that like a pack mule and pulled it out. But we had to hammer on it to get it loose from the rusty area right there. It kind of got hung up right there. So uh, now we're going to go get a chain to put on this and uh, see if anybody will let us walk in their store looking like this. Or... <laughs> Still can't move that on the camera. Uh, yeah. Um, and then we'll hang the chain up here where we can pull it back up if we need to. All right. So, and I've rolled up, uh, I had a lot of extra cord. I'm going to roll that up some more so it's not sitting down in the water. We checked everything and it's running. Let me go turn that number two switch on. Yeah, on the right. Yeah, it's definitely going down. Going down? Uh, they may get a bonus crab bar. I'm trying to figure out how to get it out of there. Go magnet fishing in a septic tank. You might find a mortar First time for that, too. It cost me more than $40 to get a good magnet, won't it? Probably. Mm, but, but you could always go back and fish later. Now. For some reason, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I have a leftover biscuit and try. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Not hungry. I recommend you wash your hands before you eat after doing a job like this. Um, okay. Um, I don't like the cords hanging way down in the bottom. That looks better already. All right, we are done here. It was a dirty job.
But where's, it's done. Where's it? What's his name? He needs to come work. Mike Rowe. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Rowe, the millionaire. Anyway, we got to put this lid back on without dropping anything else in there. That lid's cracked, bro. Right? It's not always cracked up to be. up a little bit. Did you hear about the guy that stole the light? Different thickness. Alright. Did you hear about the guy that stole the light? Uh-uh. He got a light sentence. Got a light sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now we got to pick everything up. Like that pump. Pick it all up. See you guys later.